so in this series today i am going to deal with some basic multiplications and how these multiplications can be done in the mind without use of pen and paper and when the students speak these calculations in their mind the way in which they have to tell themselves what they are reading is very very important now suppose we take the example of multiplication of numbers by 2 4 8 and so on now if i say to a student then that you have to multiply 739 by 2 obviously he will start 739 by 2 like this and he will multiply it like this but what if the same thing is told to the student in a different manner like you say to the student that you have to double 739 and not multiply 739 by 2 so the entire outlook of the calculation changes so it is our thought process it is the way we speak in our mind it is the way we present that particular calculation in our mind which brings out the desired step so i appeal to the teachers especially mathematics teachers to present the calculations before the students in such a way that they do it orally and they do not rely on traditional methods and pen and paper for solving that so 80% of the students multiply by 2 multiply by 4 and multiply by 8 using pen and paper and using traditional methods but i will just present to you today some examples why we don't need pen and paper to multiply numbers by 2 4 and 8 just by saying to ourselves that this is not a calculation it is just a way of thinking so i am taking the first example now a very very simple example say i have to multiply 24 by 2 now this is a very basic calculation uh, which say um 9 plus age students will do it orally but what about the students who are uh, just starting their school education can they do it orally if they can do it orally then until they reach the age of 10 years they will have so many new shortcuts new things with them which will make them resourceful enough so if we say multiply 24 by 2 then it is a calculation which has to be written and multiplied but if we say double of 24 then it is very easy and when you speak numbers in your mind then you don't speak numbers all together like i don't say to myself it is 24 i call it as 24 just give a slight pause between the two 24 and that solves our, our problem of doubling if i call it 24 and i double it 48 so my answer is 48 so multiplication by 2 is nothing it can be done orally mentally just by speaking the exact number in a different manner i'll give you some more examples of this suppose another number is a larger number 73 don't call it 73 and don't start doing 73 multiplied by 2 like this just call it 73 and double 146 is 146 it gets multiplied by 2 automatically and you don't have to write these steps this is all done in mind and once you have that particular kind of thinking towards the numbers then i think you can work out wonders in mathematics I'll give you one more larger example. Say we have two thousand three hundred and forty-two multiplied by two. Now this is this makes a bit uh, things a bit complicated now. Now I call it two thousand three hundred forty-two and I double it four thousand six hundred eighty-four four six eight four is the answer. and i don't have to write the steps again i am reiterating the same thing again and again that this method is not long you don't have to write all these steps it is mental mathematics 
mental mathematics is done in mind and you are arriving at the answer directly just by speaking the number in a right manner so another example see 739 multiplied by 2 just call it 739 double 1468 18 now 68 18 is 78 1478 is the answer that's all so don't multiply by 2 students especially you your thinking is what matters in mental mathematics i am stressing on this point when you speak the numbers speak it by giving a pause so that whenever you multiply you don't actually multiply them you know the meaning of what is done when we have to multiply numbers by two it is just doubling of numbers now this method now suppose i have 315 into 2 you can call it 310 5 and arrive at the result 600 20 10 this is 30 so 630 or you can break it further when you know a method you can experiment with the method also like you can call it 310 5 so 620 10 so 630 so you can break the number as per your convenience your thinking now similar observations can be made when you are multiplying numbers by 4 I'll just rub this off now when you have to multiply by 4 then do not call it as multiplying by 4 if you say to yourself that you have to multiply a big number by 4 then you are putting stress on your mind you are telling yourself that you have to pick up the pen and paper and start doing a calculation but when you say you have to double twice you have to double the number twice then it becomes far more easier to perform that calculation within your mind i'll give you an example of say multiplying say 26 by 4 now small children when they are given this calculation they start off with the traditional method they try 26 like this and put a multiplication sign then carry on the single digit multiplication and subsequent addition now when you have to multiply by 4 then do not multiply by 4 just tell to yourself that you have to double the number twice and for doubling i have told you one rule of mental, mental mathematics that you have to speak the number in a manner in which you can double it very easily so 26 is 40 12 52 52 is 50 and 2 so 104 that's all your answer is 104 this multiplied by this is 104 isn't that wonderful just by speaking just by having a little positive attitude towards the numbers bringing it to your mind in a positive manner will work out wonders for your calculation skills your mental skills another example for uh, say multiplication by 4 I say you have to multiply 300 and 234 by 4. Now do not say, please teachers, kindly pay attention. Do not say to your students that multiply 234 by 4. Tell them to double it twice. And tell them what is the exact manner in which the numbers are to be doubled. So 234 into 4 is 234. Double it 400. 68 you can do it like this or you can break 34 further into 30 and 4 that depends on the level of skill you have already achieved if you have achieved a particular part of skill then you can proceed with the next level so 468 this is double of 3 234 that means i have multiplied the number by 2 now i will double it again 468 800 120 16 800 136 936 so your answer for 234 into 4 is 936 see 
this is how we gain momentum in mathematics this is how we have to teach our children to present mathematics before them as a simple subject and not as a complex subject in which lot of paperwork is there lot of skills are required and a single mistake can hamper all your progress in mathematics you can generalize this result of multiplication by 2 and multiplication by 4 to multiplication by 8 also where multiply by 8 becomes multiply by 2 into 2 into 2 that means you have to double the number 3 times so in competitive exams when there is a calculation involving multiplication by 8 you don't actually have to use your pen and paper to carry out that calculation see I'll give you one example say we have to multiply 13 by 8 so 13 double 26 26 double 52 52 double 104 that's all the answer of 13 into 8 is 104 this is how mental maths works uh, when we start division at the basic level we teach them the long division method through which the children learn it is okay but the meaning of division what do we mean by dividing a number by another number what does the result signify that is very important do not teach your children a method teach them why that method is being performed and what is the significance of the result of dividing one number with another number now i'll take basic division by 2 4 and 8 just like we did multiplication by 2 4 and 8 in our trick number 26 now in 27 we are going to deal with division now again i re re reiterate the point which i told you in the uh, previous trick that it is the way in which we put up things in front of our children our students if i say i have to divide 86 by 12 then i am telling them to pick up the pen and paper and start dividing 86 by 12 like this in which they are traditionally taught now when we start division we start it by basic numbers of 2 3 4 and all so if i say dividing by 2 is nothing but halving that is splitting a number into two equal parts that is the meaning of dividing by 2 so if a child knows that i have to make two parts of 30 two parts of 30 so he will tell you on the spot that two parts of equal parts of 30 will give you 15 each and you have to tell them that actually you have divided 30 by 2 so instead of performing the long division method they will tell you that the answer is the quotient is 15 without actually dividing only on the basis of the fact that they know what do you mean by saying that we are dividing a number by 2. Similarly, suppose we have the example of 86 divided by 2 and you tell to a class 2 student to perform this division, he will start off like this. But if he knows that we have to just half the number, then for halving we have to speak the number by giving a pause in between so i don't speak 86 as 86 i call it 86 and i just do the half of that number which gives us 43 so the answer is 43 division is nothing but making many parts of a big number if i am dividing by 6 that means I am making 6 equal parts of something. So, 72 divided by 6 will give 12 each. Because if I have 72 apples and I have to divide it among 6 students, then obviously they will get 12 each. So, this is what is to be told to the students from the basic level. 
I'll take one more example of uh, division of numbers. Now suppose we have to divide a larger number, say suppose 113. Now I'm taking an uh, odd number. So here the answer will be in decimal because it is an odd number. Now being a teacher, being a mentor, a parent, you know that halving will be difficult here because it is an odd number and it, it, it involves decimals. So now what you tell to the students is just forget one from this number. So reduce this number by one, we get 112. Call it 112, half the number 50 and 6 which gives us 56 and just put 0.5 in front of this. So you get the answer as 56.5. Why? Because we forgot 1 and half of 1 is 0.5. So we have to put 0.5 in front of that number. So we get 56.5 as the quotient when we divide 113 by now see, things become so easier. Now let us take a uh, larger number. Say I have 9647 divided by 2. Now to perform this kind of division, it will involve say about 8 to 10 lines and uh, the students might miss, uh, commit some kind of error in dividing. But here, I just forget one. So 9600 See, I have broken it according to my convenience. I can reduce 9600 to half very easily. But if you can't do it, you can write it as 9600. So, it depends on your skill level. If you are expert, if you, are, if you have practiced this method, then you can break it according to your level. So, 9646. Why? Because this is an odd number 47, so I reduce it by 1, 46, so that it becomes easier to half. So, now 4,823. So, 4,823 and I forgot 1 here, so 0.5 I have to suffix if after this number. So, my answer is 4823.5. See, isn't that wonderful? Mental maths is so good and if you know these very very small things that builds up your attitude for the entire life and you work maths with maths in a very very a joyful manner and whenever you confront calculations you actually feel happy so this method of dividing by 2 can now be extrapolated to division by four also. So I'll just illustrate one example so that you can carry on with that practice part yourself. Now suppose I have division by four. Now any child which is who is dividing 75 by four and following this method at class 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th level is at fault. He must know the mental maths tricks to divide this mentally. Now let us see how it is done. Again, 75 is odd. So what I do is I reduce it by 1. You can do it that way also or further if you have that skill level, you can do it simultaneously also. See, I do it simultaneously. 74 and 1 is 75. Now half 37.5. So this is 37.5 is I have divided 75 by 2. Now half another time. Why? Because it is division by 4 not by 2. 38 you can split it as 36 and 1 and 0.5 is there already. So 18 1 becomes 0.5 and 0.5 becomes 0.25 so 0.75 so 18.75 is the required answer. So 75 divided by 4 is 18.75. So dear students, work like this. Say to yourself that these are not calculations. These are basic mathematical skills which everyone must know. And my appeal to all parents, all teachers who, who are viewing my videos that from the basic level, 
tell the students that these are not calculations these do not require any kind of pen and paper they just require little bit of practice and everyone can do this mentally only keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it